Learning to install a Linux distro can be overwhelming. If you're not used to installing an OS or tweaking system configurations yourself, fortunately, most Linux distros are set up to be installed with ease by providing the user an option to let the distro automate the entire installation process. Some distros list this option as guided installation. However, if you have another OS pre-installed on your hardware, then the option name changes to something like install alongside your existing OS. Cool, right? Hello there, I'm Lou. Welcome to Linux at Home channel, where you get the best benefit out of your Linux box. Want to stay up to date with me? Subscribe to my channel. You should note that not all Linux distros are same. So you probably won't find the guided installation option on your preferred Linux distro that you intend to install right now or later. However, Linux distributions such as Ubuntu and its derivatives usually all have the same installation format. So regardless of what distro you choose, as long as it's Ubuntu or based on Ubuntu, you can install it using the guided installation method. Here's a sample screenshot of Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Each of these distros were installed on a clean hard disk through virtualization software so you auto notice the install alongside pre-existing OS option. Instead, you have guided and erase option. Selecting this option will let the Linux distro take care of all the hardware partitioning and organizing Linux file system tasks while you sit back and relax comfortably and later you reboot to your newly installed Linux distro but what if you'd like to take more control of the installation procedure you could do that by selecting the manual option or something else option this gives you a new partition table screen where you can manually set up the Linux file system yourself but why would one prefer to install a Linux distro manually? There are many possible reasons that vary across different Linux users. For me, I like to separate the home directory to another partition. So if I disastrously mess up my system by mistake sometime in the future, I can still reuse the same home partition even if I reinstall the Linux distro all over again. There are only two important things to remember in case you want to try out the manual installation yourself. Number one is hard disk partition format. Usually, you'll encounter the need to create two types of partition format while installing your Linux distro. A single or series of ext4 partition. That's the partition or partitions for storing files and folders and a swap partition that is roughly the size of your RAM and is reserved for your OS. Number two is the Linux file system. This consists both your system and personal files mounted at the same or different mount points. You can either set up one big partition for your Linux file system or break it up into partitions. My preferred choice is separating the slash home partition from the root partition because that's where all your personal files and folders are stored. Also, this slash home partition is allocated more storage than the root because personal files tend to grow over time and you don't want to run out of storage too soon. So, keeping those two important things in mind, you add a new partition by customizing the storage size selecting a partition format as either ext4 or swap and finally specifying its mount point after you've got them right you can hit the install now button to begin the installation process by the way i recommend installing your linux distro on your spare hardware first if you have one so you don't accidentally erase your critical files and folders on your primary computer and once you've got the hang of it you can switch to installing it on your primary computer. It takes a bit of practice to get good at installing without making silly rash mistakes. Even I made mistakes when I first tried out Linux. Question of the day. So which option did you try or would like to try while installing your Linux distro? 
the easy one or the manual installation? I'd love to hear from you, so don't hesitate to type out your answer in the comment section below.